Right, welcome back. What do you see in front of me is a front of the screen is a LinkedIn profile uh, of mine. But why should you care about it? Now, this uh, video is primarily about uh, one of the most asked question or one of the most uh, interesting question I find over the web that how do I get noticed as a DevOps engineer? How do I kind of make my uh, time more fruitful or impactful? Uh, to the community of DevOps, um, initially starting to, to to probably share my knowledge or um, share whatever wisdom I have acquired so far, because DevOps was still a new when I got started, and probably something some of the tech stack you would working on uh, could be could be anything, could be Pulumi, could be any of the infrastructure tool, could be any new tool which you have learned about Kubernetes. You want to share about it, and you want to make sure that you get noticed. And then you have a more personal, it's more of a personal brand building, right? So as you can see, I first thing is you got to have your LinkedIn profile top notched. You got to have your LinkedIn profile updated. Whatever skill set you're working on, whatever clients you have worked on, whatever companies you're working on, you got to make sure you do that. All right. So as you can see, I have created a small little banner over here um, with a tagline that I help startup and learners to build infrastructure than few of the clients I've worked on. All right. And then I kind of also uh, promote that I am an instructor on Udemy I have a blogging channel I have a YouTube channel you don't have to all have all of them I did not have it few years back but you can slowly build it whatever and what you would must have is that already you're working with some sort of organization all right so then you start mentioning that what do you do in that organization how much team size you have like I mentioned that I work on CI CD I help organization in uh, deployments and all of that I do a bit of monitoring scripting and then I also write blogs and articles this is what one of the thing you could do you could share your experience whatever experience you have could be could be any of the PowerShell script or bash script or kubernetes cluster could be anything so you do them and then you share your wisdom whatever you learned so far and then you could do anything about anything you could do about any of the Linux uh, project you're working on you see I have mentioned or written a bunch of article on email where I used to work on email infrastructure G Suite or Google Apps of work so whatever you're working on you've got to be start sharing about it because there are plethora of uh, learners available in the market or in the community who might not know what you know so start sharing them and people will start thanking you so you see there are very few comments but yeah at least there are few comments so it doesn't matter how many comments or likes you have you go to start sharing whatever you have learned to get noticed to help the community all right so this is one thing you could get noticed not only by your fellow community members fellow devops engineers but also recruiters they might be just looking out for keywords like email infrastructure when they type in they might just find you Second thing what I do is generally I write blogs. I used to write blogs. Now I don't because of uh, multiple reasons. I don't get time and all of the things. So second thing you could do is you could start writing your own blog channels. Text thing are still in by the way. People still write uh, and read text a lot to find out a solution. The coding solution or the infrastructure problem uh, always cannot be spoken on video. So start writing it. Uh, like I used to write a lot, I, uh, I've not been doing it from past uh, quite a bit of time but uh, whatever you've learned, like I I figured out a new tool called CubeLens, I just straight away called it out to the community that it's a new tool to visualize your Kubernetes cluster, go ahead and use it. I have used a bunch of screenshot also and, and probably spoken about how you could use it and download it and start using it for your customer. I have written a Terraform cheat sheet. This also helps you to revisit whatever you have learned. Generally what happens is in a project you would learn, you would do and then you would move forward. One thing you could add in between is you would learn, you would do, you would revisit it and then probably give it a structure to whatever you have learned. It is not always easy to remember all the commands. So most of the times, a lot of times what has happened is if I have stuck on any problem, it's kind of a journal for me also. How to get probably this particular problem. I keep getting this problem into my namespace. How to get rid of uh, a Kubernetes namespace stuck in terminated space. I don't need to find it every time on Google. I can straight away go onto my blog and then probably understand what did I do wrong over there. So This is helpful to maintain your own journal or own logs also. Third thing which I do generally is I maintain my own repository 
I whatever uh, things I learn or practice on my local, I try to publish them on GitHub or try to make some contribution to the open source community. I go through a lot of codes, open source code, uh, and, and try to create a pull request if there are no examples available for a particular code i try to give an example and probably merge it if it's helpful uh, create a merge request and if the community uh, owner or the repository owner feels that uh, the the merge request is appropriate then there are times which has been merged also so third thing is you could just write your own create your own repo and start writing your code as well whatever you have done you could doing anything could be doing anything on your local just try to don't keep it to yourself just don't keep it to your local put it everything out in the cloud or any in the git or any source code repository obviously don't push any of the secrets because you know attacks happens pretty frequently and uh, fourth thing you could do is start posting on Quora. this is very very helpful People are looking out for answers of questions, different questions, IT, DevOps, infrastructure, cloud. Go ahead and write and post on Quora. You would really be uh, not only helpful to community members, people who are looking out for uh, answers, but you would also get noticed by a lot of folks. So, and then that's a process of building the personal brand that's not going to be built over the year uh, not over just a single day you got to be building it over the year each day plays a lot of important role in your personal brand and obviously the most important personal brand is wherever you're working any organization you're working make sure you're working very efficiently you create a lot of uh, uh, connections inside the organization and try to solve as much as problem for your organization as you can all right i hope this was informative